I've been following this um, this reef line for some time now probably walked about two kilometers and uh, haven't had much luck I've been uh, running in normal and uh, ground is pretty quiet beautiful day today pretty deep in the bush here and uh, we're just um, going to keep following this uh, this line I believe there should be a mine somewhere up front of me um, should be getting quite close to it now it's been about uh, two kilometers that I've been following this line for now I'm starting to encounter some workings you can see this uh, this hole that the old timers have dug and uh, so far not much just a few bullets and the usual junky targets alrighty um, just coming across a little creek here and it looks like um, some of the old timers have been working down in the creek down there there's a, a gully that looks like it's been dug out I'll just follow it you can see there are some diggings around here where the old timers have, uh, have worked I don't think this area has seen anybody for quite a while Bit of a steep hill up there and a nice little gully down here I'll just keep following this down and see what I can uncover looks like the it was dug down to the bedrock so uh, there might be little bits and pieces in the bottom I might get in there and have a look You can see the, uh, the bedrock here is fairly well exposed and it's also parallel to the flow of the water which makes for good riffles probably worthwhile panning some of the stuff out in here and seeing what we can find um, but I haven't brought a pan with me so I'll have to leave that for another day now I've just come across a very interesting little thing I'm looking down a wombat hole and if you look very carefully you might see two eyes looking at me now moved off it's a bit scary I don't want to disturb him so we'll just leave him and we'll carry on I've been following this creek down for a way now and uh, you can see a huge big mallock heap there in the distance um, this must be the mine there's the I've come across a target that um, has resulted in me digging quite a substantial hole it's probably I don't know if I if I measure it with my pick um, probably sitting at about that distance and uh, I don't know I used to have measurements on my pick can't see them anymore anyhow it's quite a distance 
probably about 18 inches, maybe two feet. Anyhow, I've gotten into this hole and I've got a target in the hole. Interestingly enough, the uh, I couldn't hear a thing with this uh, this in difficult, but I was hunting around in normal and uh, and I've now I think just moved the target. It was in the side wall just near the bottom and I've moved it across a little bit so uh, I'll put you down and, uh, and we can dig this out together okay I'll just clear the hole out a little bit and then we'll see if we can't find out where it is. Alright, let's have a look. Out of the hole. One of the rocks I had to get out of this hole it wasn't easy. Aussies are everywhere. Okay, it's in the scoop. Still in the scoop. Oh. I see it. What a nice piece of gold that is. Whoa. From that deep down. That makes me very happy. It's screaming at me. I'd say that's at least a gram there. At least one gram. That's the noise I heard. Wow. That's a good day. Worth the walk. I'll just pull the hole back in. I'll show you that piece of gold when we get back to the car. I've got a scale in there. Whoa. That was a hole and a half, that one. But uh, 
if you look where I am, right alongside the diggings here, I'd say an old timer must have uh, dug it out and covered it over. And lucky for him, lucky for me. Phew. I am out of breath. All right, I've come across another target. I'm running difficult, difficult, and uh, with a sensitivity of 16. I found this target when I was hunting in normal. I'll just uh, show you what it sounds like. Very soft. If I go down an inch or two. Now I'll just switch the detector to normal. Hopefully you can see that. Normal. And I'll change the uh, sensitivity down to about six. Five, six. Listen to the difference. All right, let's dig it up. Before I dig it up, I just thought I'll show you something. That's the gully over there. And can you see, there's a dugout here, like a little area that they were probably putting their, um, their um, spoils that they were taking out of the gully, putting it here and then offloading it onto the spot here, yeah. which is the reason why I've decided I'm going to dig this up. So let me dig it up and then I'll show you what it is. I don't know if you can see it, but you'll see the red soil there. This turned out to be just ground noise. Okay, I've just found my second piece for the day. I didn't film it. I'll show you a tiny little piece, but um, what I found, you'll notice there's two holes here. The one where the coil is is where I found the little piece of gold. But um, what I found was in the other hole, a pretty big piece of iron. And then inside, this other hole over here, um, probably about three inches down, this is a magic coil, I can tell you something. There's that piece I found a little while ago. And there is the other little piece I found. You can see how small that is. So this coil's doing a great job. It's finding big pieces at depth and little pieces about three inches down. Really impressive. Running it on normal, I seem to get a better signal or a quieter running coil uh, normal and sensitivity on about four to six and uh, it runs much quieter than in difficult with a higher 16 or 18 sensitivity like I used to run the old 14 inch coil. Okay I'm back at the car and I thought I'll just measure these uh, two pieces of gold that I've got here. I've been rattling there for a second, I was a bit worried, I thought maybe I'd lost them.
Wow, that's 3.3 grams. 3.3, 313, 3.13 grams. The little one is point one. Point one three. And the big gun is three grams. Wow. It was a nice find. <laughs>